What I'd like you to do today, which one of the things that we found is by recalling, taking yourself back, re-immersing yourself in positive, important memories, it triggers changes in your physiology. So we've looked at health, we've looked at relaxation. We could do more of that, um, but just listen back to the, uh, the last week and the weeks before you'll hear it there, and I'll do some more in the future. But today I wanna to actually focus on something else, which I think will have a really good effect on your health, mental and physical. And that is, I'd like you to take yourself back to a time when you were really passionate about something. I'm not so much talking about romantic love here. I'm talking about really being in touch with something that excited you about the world, a dream, a desire, a goal, something you thought, I really, I'm really excited about this. I really want to do this. Doesn't matter how old you were. It could be, you know, I can't wait until that thing comes through the post. I'm so looking forward to, you know, the, the fan magazine of David Cassidy. I know some of the people listening here will know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, or it could be a massive project that you took on, you know, moving country, building a house. I don't know. But something that when you connect with it, you're like, oh, yeah, I know that feeling. That's really exciting. So go back to that time now. Maybe pop it down in the uh, in the comments as well. Tell me what what your passion was or is. You know that moment when you just really were excited. You couldn't wait to almost to get up and start. You were thinking about it. What can I do? And put it in a really positive way. Connect with that. Really connect with that and feel what that feels like. Pop down some of the words that uh, represent some of these experiences for you. Do that now. Feeling what it feels like. Connecting with something you really felt, yeah, this is important. This is part of my plan. This is part of my design. This is part of my reason for being here. And as you connect with that, I'd like you to notice a couple of things about it. What did it feel like? Who else was involved? Who did you talk to about it? Really re-engage re with what this feels like to have that tingly feeling of excitement, of opportunity and possibility flowing through your whole being. And then what I like to do is imagine as you connect with that, imagine you have a hose pipe and you open the hose pipe like a fireman's hose and whoosh, it comes flooding out. What color would that be? And have that hose down 2020, particularly this month, pouring into you so that each day you wake up, you're starting to feel that feeling again, starting to focus on what are you doing? What's important for you? And these things, you connect with feeling this flow through your day and notice as a result allow yourself and again this is 10 questions first question is what if what if everything turned out brilliantly what if my idea expanded into this extraordinary thing that I love what's this feel like usually people do the opposite what if it messes up instead what if everything turned out brilliantly or even better than I imagined what if it just flowed in a magical way? Connect with that, feeling what that feels like. To have that in your day, every day for the next few weeks. Just that feeling of something slightly magical occurring in your life. And notice what you would put your energy into if that magic was just like a breeze behind you, just nudging you along. What you put your energy into, having reflected this is what's important. What would you put your energy into? What would you put your time into? Pop that down there. What would you put your energy and time into? And then as you do that, write your, write your comments down, It'd be really great to have those. As you do that, I'd like you to notice when you are being this way, when you are on this mission, making a difference, how does that transform the environment that you live in? How does that change how you feel about the environment you live in? How do you rearrange the environment you live in? How do you move things about? How does it transform your sense of 
your behaviors and skills, the things that you can do, things you can achieve. And how does that in turn allow you to recognize the capabilities, the extraordinary depth and potential you have within you? And how does that transform into how you feel about who you are? Connecting to this is who I am. This is who I am. And how does that transform into what you bring to the system bigger than you? So whether that's your family, your work, your community, the world. Someone once asked uh, Martin Luther King, they said, who's your hero? And they thought he'd go like Gandhi or Jesus or someone. And he went, oh, Mrs. Brown. And they went, who's Mrs. Brown? I said, oh, you'd never know her. She was, uh, she was this little old lady, lived around the corner, dirt poor, but um, she was so kind to the kids. Any kid, any time could turn to her. She'd always, you know, take care of them, give them some food. And she, for me, was the person that I always emulated. I thought if I could ever be like her, I would have achieved something. Because you never know, he said, you never know how much influence you can have on people who just bump into your orbit and who you contage with some brilliance just by being the best you that you could be. So, what I'd like you to do now is send a message to one of the other people just even if you don't know them just tag them there's lots of people on the call to say this is what i'm interested in doing just thought i'd let you know and then if you get one of those messages going then reply going great excellent look forward to it be positive to them support them in some more useful way than maybe some of the conversations we've been having over the time and maybe next time because I don't think we have time now. I'll tell you what it would be like to be like a raindrop falling gently through the leaves of a deep green forest. And sometimes those raindrops fall in front of the leaf, behind the leaf, and sometimes they roll onto the top of the leaf, just clinging on for a minute before, just ever so gently drifting down drifting down to the surface of the forest and there they lie on the surface and you and I look at them and we think they could never go through that uh, hard surface, that hard soil, but the raindrop doesn't seem to know. And so it just drifts through the forest floor. And there deep within it meets another raindrop and they transform from being two raindrops to being the beginning of a river. But I'm not gonna tell you that story, oh no. That will be next time. So great to see you guys. Thanks so much for your comments and uh, contributing to this. It's really great to have you on it. It's really, it really transforms it from me just chatting to an empty screen. So thank you for that. Please share this widely. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is some of you guys have done a course with me called the Life Skills Course, which is a, a brilliant two-day course. And uh, it's all about the things we never learned at school that we needed to, that would make such a difference, like how to, the stuff we've been talking about today. And um, I love teaching. It's one of my favorite things to teach. But unfortunately, can't teach it at the moment because we can't do training courses. So we have an online version of it that we're gonna be launching very, very soon. So uh, if you're interested in that, send us an email saying, I'd really like to do the online version of this course. I've been having lots of fun creating it. It's, it's, it's as good as, as turning up to the course, it's, it's brilliant. So, and it's slightly longer actually than attending the course. So if you're interested in that, do let us know. Uh, this is not a daily, uh, somebody asked me, is this a daily thing? No, it's not a daily thing, but uh, I have done it for the last three weeks on a Tuesday or so. Uh, if you're interested, let me know and I'll do another one uh, for next Tuesday. Um, so yeah, leave a comment, send us an email, phil at philparker.org. Great to see you. Take care of yourselves and do that thing you were talking about. All the best, guys. I'm going to see if I can make the magic happen. Bye.